Hello. For those interested, my name is Rabbi David Katz. And this is the Mishle class. And we're in Mishle, chapter 1, verse 5. We took off a week because I was a little bit ill. So if you hear the last recording on YouTube, then stop this recording right now. Or if you have not listened to the last recording on YouTube, stop the recording. And go listen to the end of the last class. Then you'll know exactly where we're starting today. And if I'm not starting where we're supposed to be starting, that's my fault. But we're going to start there anyways because I don't know exactly where we left off. But I know about where we left off. And you're going to read in English. Justin Becker, if you can, please. Actually, I think I have the picture here. So hold on a second. Ah, there it is. Okay. We have the verse that we're going to go by in English. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding will attain wise counsel. All right, that's the English that we will do in a couple weeks. So we're going to break down the Hebrew to Yishma Chokhem Yosi Lekach. A wise man, that's a Chokhem, will hear. That is Yishma. The Yosef. And will increase learning lekoch. We want to know what those words mean in their real sense. Yishma chochum. So let's focus on yishma chochum. And then when we get there, we'll get there. Yosef lekoch. When the yishma chochum, yosef lekoch. There's something called the sage listens. In fact, I think we already did that. You guys, does that sound familiar? I think we did that. The, the listening aspect. Didn't we do that? I think we did that. Type one or two? I'm pretty sure we did that. The sage listens, right? So we're we're holding at the Yosef, the Yosef Lekoch. And adds learning. Let's go there. You know, I, I, I might blur the two. The, the sage listens because I, I don't know if we did it or not, and I, I just kind of want to do it again anyway. So let's let's see how that goes. Yeah, Rashi for sure. That's what it is. Yishma Chokhem. That's why I say let's do Yishma Chokhem. And I also I want to know the gematria of that. What is that, Justin Becker? Uh, 410, 420, 460, 480, 488. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't like really do much, but let's go. Yishma Chokhem. Mahamashalim Halalu. The how do you know what a sage is? A sage will hear the mushal. You understand that? The sage will hear these mashalim, these analogies, these uh, enigmatic wisdom phrases. The Yosef, what does it mean to add a chachmaso? So all the Chacham does, the sage, he hears wisdom sayings so that he increases his wisdom. Lekoch, Limud. Limud. He increases his wisdom with Limud. We, I guess, you know, you, you know you could call that? In proper writing, you understand, and not bad writing. In bad writing, it's called in the wisdom. Man, he listens and he goes back and he studies and he studies the books and things like that. So he thinks about with a scan, trying never to a pencil, right? But in good writing, a wise man learns. Type one, Justin. A wise man learns. That's how you could you would I would summarize with well. Uh, uh, Metatronic statement, a tight statement, right? How do you know a wise man? Well, some will say Yishma Chokhem Yosef Lekoch, but the 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 the, the uh, commentary condensed or uh, consolidated would be a wise man learns. Chokhem again, Rashi give me a little bit of a different take. Zev Bal Hashmuya, 
Very interesting. Very interesting. Rashi tells you there's a there's a concept called a wise man hears. And there's a concept called a wise man. We did the description of a wise man hears. He is learning. A chacham, a sage or wise man, this is one, as Justin said, he is bal hashmuya. He hears. Very powerful. Mitsudas David. Yishma chacham. Ratzin Waymer. Vegan la chochum, yoilu hadvarim, kikishia yishmam. He's always being helped by things when he hears it. He adds further study. He learns. He's, he's updating his files. You know what I'm saying? He's learning. Midaso, from his own knowledge, for his own knowledge. So he he um data in Star Trek is artificial intelligence with his brain called a positronic net. Okay? Why do I give that analogy? Data artificial intelligence if Google were to get it right. If Google were to get it right, they would create a chacham you understand that? They are attempting to create an intelligence that from its own knowledge can increase by learning. Right? So if David Katz visits Amazon.com, eBay, and 10 other sales sites in one day, the AI would be able to learn from my data David Katz likes to shop on Tuesday, December the 13th, 2016, correct? And I bought a pair of shoes and a snorkel. So let's say I did a whole bunch of other stuff. The data of AI of Google, what they're trying to do, would learn from the wisdom it hears from me, I yell out, hey, Google, I just went to eBay and bought a snorkel. So their AI heard that, right? It received that in binary or whatever, and it learned. David Katz likes to buy snorkels. Who can guess what advertisement Google would figure out I want to see on my homepage tomorrow? Any, any idea? Any takers? A snorkel. Or a tri- how, about, how about a trip to Cancun? Hey, David, would you like to get a cruise to Cancun? It's cold in December, isn't it? Well, in Cancun, it's pretty warm. How about bringing your new snorkel? Okay. So the Chacham is not AI. He is, you know, this is the famous idea, isn't it? Who's greater, the man or the machine? Isn't that the question? So the real Chacham, if he heard that you bought a snorkel yesterday, he would say, hey, I happen to have an extra set of flippers. Do you need them? Type one. All right. Lekoch. What is Lekoch? Says the Rabbag. What is Lekoch? Kenyan. Acquisition. So here's, wow, this is, who's ever heard me say the word hop? Okay, let's say that I wanted to give over something very powerful right now. Type one. Moses was the king of Yeshurun. Who heard me say that? 
And you got it, right? You can probably type that back, process it. What did Rabbi Katz say, Loretta? Oh, uh, Moses was the king of your children. How many of you hopped what I said? Type two. Type two. Type two. Type two. Let's say that it was a real scenario. I said Moses was the king of Yeshurun, and I had intended you to know that when I said Moses was the king of Yeshurun, I wanted to re-emphasize to you, don't forget that Moses had the status of a king. Type one, if you now hop, Moses was the king of Yeshurun. Type one. So now, at first you were a budding sage, trying to listen to me, trying to add. Type one. When you, if, 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 if you listened to me thoroughly, you would have hopped what I was saying. Now you own it. For the rest of your lives, God willing, you will never forget Moses was a king. Type one. So first you are engaged in wisdom, and then I made sure, and you because you're a sage, you listened, right? I'm King Solomon giving the wisdom, you're the student listening, Lafib Shuto, right? You listen to the wisdom coming. Uh, you know, I'm vocalizing Solomon here. You're listening, you're the sage. You acquired it. So Yishma Chacham, you did that. You're trying to be the Yosef, and then Lekach. When you got it, you hopped it, that's Lekach. Type one. All right. And we got the Chacham. Let's do one more, the Aramaic. Yishma Chakima. The Yosef. Mada. Mada. All right, we'll end with we'll end the class with this. Let's find out what Mada is. I don't know. Do you guys know what Mada is? Does anybody know? Apparently, when when the sage listens. And he adds Mada. Do you guys know what Mada is? Here do I. Mada. What is Mada, Justin? Mada. Mad, uh, mad, uh, knowledge, teaching, reason, objects worth knowing or well known. Notables, wow, that is that is absolutely awesome, man. You guys, that might be my favorite thing of all time. You know that? That really, I was just using uh, the Jastro dictionary. You can find that on the internet. Type in J A S as in C M T as in Tom R O W. Do a Google search. You can find it online. Listen to what I'm telling you. The, the Chacham hears and increases this thing called Lekach, right? You're not going to believe what Lekach is. You're not going to believe this. This tells me the Torah is true more than anything. Ready? Are you ready for that? I'm not joking. This is amazing. You come to class, 
and you're trying to listen. Is that true? Are you guys trying to do that? Because that's the tendency of man, right? Wherever you are, if you're halfway interested, you'll, you'll try to listen. Type one. So apparently you're adding lekoch. Type one, if we can pretend to know what lekoch is. All right? Type one. You now magically know what lekoch is. So you're trying to add something, right? Can you feel yourselves doing that right now? Can you feel it? You're all trying to add something. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening so hard. Well, I'm going to give you the, the golden key here of what you're trying to add based on the Aramaic translation of what is lekach. Pearls of wisdom or nuggets. How awesome is that? Seriously. That's awesome. That's, that, that's awesome. The wise man knows there's something called a nugget. And nuggets are endless. And all he's doing is going around. How do you collect? By listening. The more you listen, the more you collect nuggets. <laughs> it's awesome. Man, I love this. A sage is someone who collects nuggets. They're good at getting nuggets. They can sense the nugget. They know there's a nugget, and they're good at separating the chaff and getting the nugget. Man, I don't need to say anything more. That's just that's, that is beautiful right there. That speaks for itself. I'm David Katz. I hope you enjoyed.